to another jewelry making video brought to you by KeepsakeCrafts.net. Today we're going to turn a necklace kind of inside out and leave the chain unadorned and have the dangle off the clasp be the focal point. So a necklace of this sort is actually pretty simple in its construction. You'll just need a chain of your choice that will be the part that the necklace dangles from. And I just have a length here that I like and I've put some jump rings on the end. And like I said, that's just gonna be unadorned. And then it's nice if you can find a kind of fancy focal point clasp. I have got this funky decorated lobster clasp that'll be just perfect. And I have a jump ring on that. And then really the most work on a project like this is selecting what you're going to have dangling from your focal and you should have somewhere around a dozen different pieces. I've decided to focus on gold today, but you notice I've got bright gold, I've got antique gold, I've got a couple shades of antique gold, and then I have things in shades of red and orange. And I've got oh, six different beads in different sizes and shapes with different bead caps. For these little 10 millimeter Swarovski crystal hearts, I have these 9 by 12 oval jump rings, which I know they're not going to be able to escape out of. And then for the beads, I have them with bead caps and just on head pins to make wrap loops. And the only other supply you'll need is some chain to make your dangle. And again, I've got chosen two different shades of gold in chain and we'll use this in bits and pieces. For tools it's the usual suspects, chain nose pliers, round nose pliers, and wire cutters. So to get started I've got myself a piece of chain that is the longest one in my dangle and I'm also going to choose my dangle that is going to be at the end of that and just make a wrapped loop with this. Grab it with chain nose pliers, make a 90 degree bend, grab it with round nose pliers, make a loop, you position the pliers so you can finish the loop, open it up a little and put it on one end of the chain, close it and hold on to it with one pair of chain nose pliers, and then use the other pair of chain nose pliers to wrap the wire around. And use your wire cutters to trim off the excess wire. Now that I have my longest dangle established, I'm going to decide pretty much where everything else is going to go. Just where is it going to go along the length of this chain? Like I want this near the middle and this near the top. Maybe this down here. These pieces are actually uh, once earrings and the little part that they dangled from broke. So don't throw away those bits and pieces that get broken. You may find a use for them someday. So that's those. And this is going to go up here. And now let's see, we don't want this too close to that because it's similar. So maybe up here. Just kind of spreading things out so nothing's too close to something similar. All right, now that I have an idea of how long each of these is going to be, I'm going to just separate them out and I'm going to cut a length of chain for each one. So like we'll start with this one. It's going to be down here. So I want to cut a length of chain that'll bring it from here to there. And actually I think this chain will open. So I'll just go ahead and twist it open and then add on the charm. And of course, when you close all these links, make sure they're nice and secure so you don't lose anything. And then repeat for all of your charms, just cutting appropriate length bits of chain. Like I said, I'm going to use the two different shades of gold. So here we have all of our dangles made, and now it's super easy. Just going to open up this jump ring. I'm actually going to put two here just because one to me looks a little, I don't know, insubstantial. So two. And I'm just going to slide all of the end links of these dangles that I just made. And the order really doesn't matter because they're all just going to dangle freely. 
slide them all on and then close up your jump rings nice and securely like I always say but it really is important your whole piece of jewelry is hanging on it <laughs> literally and there you have it isn't that cool now the last thing to do is just use your clasp and attach it to your chain and again I have two jump rings on each end here I just I like the kind of beefy look of that and there you go a fun way to use up a lot of different beads and bits and pieces that you have into a really cool necklace here's another look at the necklace we made today I love designs like this where you can use a variety of shades of one color because it gives it such a rich look so this would be a great time to dig through your bead stash and find those odd bits that you love but didn't know what to do with and put them all together into something great thanks so much for watching if you like this video please make sure you've subscribed to my youtube channel so you'll see more like it and also check out the other videos up on the screen and visit my blog keepsakecrafts.net where i have lots of creative happenings happy creating bye bye mm -hmm.